When I was in grade 10, I was diagnosed with myelodysplastic syndrome and it was rapidly turning into an aggressive form of leukemia and a stranger across the world gave a little piece of themselves to save my life. I just had been for the past like month or so slowly getting a little bit more like tired than I usually was. Being that I was really active and playing basketball, I started to notice that I wasn't quite able to keep up with the people that I was usually just as fast as. They had said, we're gonna do a bone marrow biopsy. So that's when they discovered that I had uh, myelodysplastic syndrome. And we were told that the only cure for me would be a bone marrow transplant. When we found out that news, we started to do testing in my family. So looking at my sister, looking at my parents to see if anyone would be a potential donor. We've since learned that only about 25% of Canadians actually find a match in their family. That's why we needed Canadian Blood Services to help us find a donor that could be my perfect match and save my life. A friend of mine reached out to say that she was organizing a swab event. I think it's been about six years now that we've been talking to the Queen's engineers. We go and speak and then the whole auditorium is just filled with all of these engineering students. I think it was after the third or fourth year that we did those speaking events. I got a text message from my friend Robbie. He reached out and said, I'm just wondering if you're doing the uh, speeches again this year because I'd love to get involved. After I heard you speak and met you, I signed up and I actually found out that I was matched and I donated. And now I've gone on to help someone as well. It was a really, really incredible moment. Like I, I was just crying in the car when I read that message just because, you know, you work hard and trying to, you know, help people see the impact that they could have on someone else's life. And it's just really incredible to know that someone signed up because they heard me speak and then ended up possibly saving someone's life. I've had some family members that have been affected by cancer, but I think the difference in this situation was that it was one of my peers. It, it, it was someone that um, I sort of saw myself in. When they mentioned in that presentation that there was a need for people with more racialized backgrounds, I saw that I was like, oh, that's, that's exactly me. Like, that is me. That's, that's something that I, can, that I can help out with. I can sort of contribute to the, the donor registry in an area that really needs help. I'm pretty sick of watching my friends and my friends' families and watching people lose their children due to something that could be fixed. I just hope that we can continue to inspire people across Canada, across the world. It's a crazy thing to hear. We might have this cure for you, but we just need a donor and then not being able to find one. So I think people should register because it's incredibly easy. Like you, you, you take a Q-tip and you swab the inside of your cheek and you send it away and that's all you need to do. Obviously there was sort of the, the fear of like, oh well, what if I actually get picked? But the, the sacrifice that I would have to make to donate to someone is, is so minuscule compared to what they're going through. Um, and, and so in my mind, it was, it was a no-brainer. It's not just the blood type that has to match for someone to donate bone marrow. It's actually these immune system markers. And if the immune system doesn't match with the recipient, then the transplant won't be as successful. So if we have a 10 out of 10 match, the chances of having a successful outcome for that patient is that much better. I was in their place. I was sitting in their place listening to the same talk. That gave me an opportunity to save somebody's life. And you can too. Like they, it, 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 You don't have to be sort of anyone special or anyone can have a massive impact on someone's life just by getting swabbed and donating. You were just in pain. You've never been so tired. Your hair is falling out. Like all things that are totally not normal for a 16 year old. and. I just burst into tears because I'm like, I just want to play basketball. Like, that's all I want to do. Once we had a date to actually move to Toronto, move to Sick Kids, uh, that's sort of when it all became quite real. So I remember that moment it was pretty, pretty crazy, like finally being able to tell everyone that I had a match and that I was going to be able to go and get better. Yeah. So he pulled me into the court and the gym just like, literally erupted. It was it was a really incredible moment and I remember I looked back at my teammates who were standing and they were all just crying and then yeah it was just a really really great moment to celebrate that milestone right turn around and give everyone such a big hug. Yeah that was a good day. <laughs>